I expect to be here much, much longer. Guys, I have something that I actually want to share with you. I want to share something with you um, right now. And just give me a, a, a quick second. Let me find this thing right now. And I'll, um, we're going to get into that, though. Um, we're going to get into that. And it's very, very important. Very, very, very important, man. You know, and I have to actually um, talk about this. So let me actually bring this up right now. Let's go. 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 All right. So we're going to be looking at something very, very important right now, guys. And be between, you know, halfway through, let's go. Let me share this. And some of you guys may already know what this is about. But this is about... Um, Adelaide's United Josh Cavallo has openly come out as a gay professional footballer. Right? So, yeah. Australian soccer player Josh Cavallo becomes the first openly gay professional soccer player in the world. And we have been talking about this recently. And, you know, a lot of teams have been, you know, supporting the whole LGBTQ movement and, you know, using the rainbow flags and the rainbow armbands and things like that. And, yeah, man, um, it, it's a reality. It's a reality and it's going to be um, a reality going forward. So let's hear what Josh has to say here. Let's really hear what he has to say in this Instagram video. And then we we gotta move right on. So yeah, stick around with me, guys. Come on, let's not be um homophobic here. Let's go, let's go, let's play this and see what he has to say. I don't know. I think I don't know what else to say. Whew. Hi everyone, it's Josh Cavallo here. I'm at my home here in Adelaide. There's something personal that I need to share with everyone. I'm a footballer and I'm gay. Growing up, I always felt the need to hide myself, you know, because I was ashamed. And ashamed I'll never be able to do what I love and be gay. You know, hiding who I truly am to pursue a dream I always wished for as a kid. All I want to do is play football and be treated equally. I'm tired trying to perform at the best of your ability and to live this double life. It's exhausting. It's something that I don't want anyone to experience. I thought that people would think of me differently when they found out. They would start treating me differently. They would start saying bad things about me or making fun out of me. That's not the case. If anything, you will earn more respect from people. Coming out to my loved ones, my peers, my friends, my teammates, my coaches has been incredible. The response and support I have received is <laughs> immense it's starting to make me think that why have i been hiding this burden for so long i want to inspire and show people that it's okay to be yourself and play football it's okay to be gay and to play football you know i want to show all the other people that are struggling and that are scared, you know, whoever it may be, that don't act like someone you're not. Be yourself. You are meant to be yourself, not someone else. Through my coming out, I'm excited to open up, to show everyone the Josh Cavallo, to show the true Josh Cavallo. I'm Josh Cavallo, I'm a footballer, and I'm proud to be gay.
There you have it. There you have it, guys. Um, Josh Cavallo has came out as the first openly gay foot footballer. Legend Sweet is saying this is so cringe. Um, look, I don't think it's cringe. To be honest, man, you know what I mean? I don't think it's cringe. You feel me? Because I love women. I'm heterosexual, of course, and I have no problem with gay people. And I've actually grown to and matured to that level where I do my thing, they do their thing. You see what I mean? I treat them like a person. As long as the whole, you know, you don't approach me with that kind of stuff and we respect each other and we have boundaries, that's all. That's It's all good. You see what I'm saying? And it's good to see that he comes out and he, he says that, okay, it's a, it's been a burden, it's been affecting him and he, he got that burden off his chest now. And he could now go out there and play. Let's see. I think people would treat him the same. I think people would actually treat him a lot better. Who knows? You know what I mean? And he might actually be a better footballer. And more players may actually follow. This is something that we might see a lot more of going forward. I know it's frowned upon. It's taboo. But... When you really think about it, guys, I don't want to get too deep into this topic right now, but we just got to respect people. You see what I mean? Some people has preferences. Some people like chocolate ice cream. Some people like vanilla ice cream. It's just, you know, it's not a, you know, it's just people have their preferences. And who am I to tell you what to do if that's not what you want to do? You see what I'm saying? And who am I to say that if that's the way you want to go, that you can't play football as well. So it is what it is. And, you know, all the best to Josh Cavallo. And let's see who will be the next openly um, gay professional footballer. You know what I mean? I called some names the last time around we talked about this topic, but I'm not going to get into that again. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get sued. It's for entertainment purposes only. But, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys, though. Just wanted to share that with you guys. So, um... We are going to move on. We are definitely going to move on from that. For some people, it's a sensitive topic, but I urge you guys to just grow up and, you know, just have some respect, man. The people, people are going to do whatever they want to do regardless, man. You can't force people. You really can't. So thanks. Thanks again for everybody in here right now. We have a lot more games to talk about, and we are going to get into the bigger games right now. Let me get the music going again. Let me get it going. We, we are going to get into some bigger games right about now. Listen. Listen, this is happy hour. This is happy hour time. Let's go. Bigger games. We're going to talk about the big guns. And when I say big guns, Chelsea, Leicester, Arsenal, Man City. We got Liverpool, Tottenham, Manchester United. Yeah, the show, show, show is just getting sweet. So I don't plan to be here for four hours, though. But um, I do actually have some time, you know, since I do this very early. I do have time to get the information in and for us to just talk. And I appreciate everybody in here right about now, man. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I see you guys and your comments. I won't be getting into the comments, though. But uh, we have Leg saying he's homophobic. Okay. We have um, Chris up saying um, Jack Grealish and he's joking. Errol Brown saying he now nah, watch no Batman play. Okay, okay, you know what I mean? To each is his own. I have an issue with some of them because they force on you when you're straight. Well, you know what I mean? They don't know that you're straight. That's the thing. That's the thing. So, you just have to say, hey man, I don't go that way. Sorry. And they move on. 